So I was recently editing a video in Olive and I noticed that it had some background noise. So I figured I'd do a quick tutorial about how you can remove some noise from your videos by extracting the audio, processing it in Ardor using a plugin to denoise it and then exporting that and putting it back into Olive. So here's the video clip that I actually want to take a look at. If I play it, it has some background noise. So, I, so I'm going to get out of this for now. And the first thing I want to do is I want to convert this from a video format into an MP3. So you can see, I can use FFmpeg to do that. I'm going to come up, look at my terminal, and just expand this and increase the size. And then we'll go to the desktop on our computer. Then I'll use this command here, and we'll call this audio output. And the file name that we want to get is the 2021 desktop file that we have right here. So that corresponds to this file here. So when we come in here and I run this command, that should spit out a file called audio output.mp3. So that's what we're seeing over here now. And then we can import that into Ardor and then we can use a plugin to denoise the background noise. So first I'm gonna come and I'm going to install a plugin on my computer. So if I come over here, I looked up some videos for some help. And so first of all, I found Anfa's video. So this is a, a great resource for people who wanna do Linux audio recording. He talks about installing this plugin. And then I also didn't really know how to use plugins in Ardor. So I found this other great video here by Nomad Studio, give that a like. And uh, that talks a little bit about how you can actually add plugins. So I'm, I'm using the plugin that Unfa put in this video. So I'm gonna go over here. That's the GitHub page for it. So you can see here, it's called Noise Repellent. If you scroll down here, it has some installation instructions. So at first I was actually building from source down here, but then I realized I actually have a Linux computer, so I don't need to build from source. There are releases. So if you come up here and you look, I'll get on this, but there's a releases tab on GitHub and you can go to the latest here. And you can see that it has a bunch of different builds. So I'm going to grab this AMD64 from my Linux computer and I'll save the file. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that it says where to put it. So typically this would go in user local lib v2. So first of all, let's extract the file in case it's zipped up. So we'll go to our downloads and I'll right click on this and I'll say extract here. So that gives us this, file, this folder right here like that. And so then we can just grab something like this. We'll grab this location here. I'll copy that and I'll go back to my terminal. And we can actually just go to our downloads folder and then show that file that we downloaded there. And then we can do a move of this folder here. So I don't want the zip version, I want that version there. And we'll move that to this location here and press enter. So I might've had that name wrong. Let's see here. Let me just make this a little smaller so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so there's a two spaces and that's one thing that was wrong. Okay, so let's do, let's grab this folder name here, make sure we have that correct. And we'll do a move of this to Let's get that location one more time without a space in the front of it. And so permission denied. So if we prepend this with sudo, enter the password for our computer. Now we've moved that. Okay. So now we should be able to recognize this plugin when we open up Ardor. So let's open up Ardor here. We'll create a new session with an empty template. And we'll start using ALSA. say okay and then I'm actually over in the mixer view your view might look like this the editor so you can add tracks this way as well if you want to just add a track there we can, we're just gonna go over here to the mixer I'll add a track here and then right here you can actually add different plugins and effects so you can see that there's a fader already here so then if I come here and I right click I can add a new plugin and I'll use the plugin manager if I scroll down you can see that the noise repellent plugin is here and this is by the creator we saw on github so I'm gonna click on this and I'll double click on it to add it to the plugins to be connected panel. And then I'll insert plugins. Okay, so now we have noise repellent here and we have this little pop-up here and that's what this actually looks like. And so next thing I wanna do is I wanna actually drag a track over here into our editor. So I'm gonna come back over here and let me just uh, come to my desktop and I'll move this over a little bit and I'll just grab this audio output that we created and I'll put it here and I can drag this right over to the front, okay. So great, so we have that now. And we have our noise repellent here. What we can do is we can grab the beginning of this. So if I come in here and I, I zoom in a little bit on this, I can 
zoom in like this, or I can press control and scroll the mouse wheel. You can see I can get some of this audio in the beginning that has no real talking, but it has some of the background noise that I'm talking about. So what I want to do is I want to create a profile here. I can do that by coming up and enabling the range mode. And then if I click and I hold, I can drag a selection there. And I can also right click and loop the selection. And that will just repeat over that current section there. That will allow me to create a noise profile for this specific section of noise. And I can come here and I can do that by selecting this option here. Now that should be automatically trying to figure out what this noise profile is based on the currently selected clip. Now you can also go and try to listen to it manually and play with the levels to try to figure out the ideal noise profile for yourself. Now that's what I'm doing in this clip. Unfortunately, when I came to edit this video, I realized that all the audio for this was stripped out. So you have to use your imagination a little bit to see what I'm doing here. You can also take a look at the levels I'm doing uh, in this video. Now I'm going to link in the description the video that I actually produced with this audio. So if you want to hear what it actually sounds like at the end, you can check that out. It's a little distorted and not quite perfect, but at least you can see what we're trying to do here. Then the final step would be getting your audio file out of here. So just go to session export and then you can export as an audio file. Now come up here and you can just name where you want to put this on your desktop. So I'll browse and I'll look for my desktop. I'll also come up here and choose the format that I want. So I want to use an MP3. So let me just search for that real quick. Go to the drop down and then you can see the different options for MP3. I'll select one of these. And then I'll just make sure that I name the files. So where it says label there, just click in there and I'll just name this noise reduction. And then we can export and wait for that to complete. And you'll see an export analysis. I'll just close out of that. And then you see that there's a pop-up here to support the Ardor project. Let's come back to that in one second. Let's go to our desktop first and let's look at the MP3 that was created here. So I recently got... You can hear that little snippet of audio. It's not perfect. You can hear some artifacts in it, but it's good enough for now. So we'll just leave it. Now let's open up Olive and we're going to just drag this clip over and we're going to put it into our timeline so we can actually edit it along with our video. So let's grab the video first and we'll drag that over and then we'll grab the MP3. We'll drag that over as well. And you can see it in our project editor. And then you can drag that down to your timeline. Let's get the video first here. And then we'll separate the clips. So control L and then we can delete just the audio. And then we can grab the MP3 and we can bring that down and that should line up perfectly. And then let's flip back to Ardor real quick. And I'm just going to bring up that donation modal again. And now I want to support this with a one-time gift, so I'll select that top option and press OK, and that opens me up on this page on the Ardor website. And I'll come over here and I'll make the suggested donation of $25. I'll press Donate. And it gives me this confirmation that we supported the project, and I definitely suggest if you're enjoying this as well and you're following along, definitely donate and help support the project as well. It's already really great software, and I think if we come together as a community, it could be even better. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you liked it, just stay tuned to our channel for more content like this in the future. We'll see you soon.